Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you for those that have subscribed to me. If you have not, please click the like and subscribe button down below and let's get ahead with our video today. So what we're going to talk about is how to study for a math exam this time, okay? Um, just a quick note, this is what's only applicable for the topic math, okay? Not English, science history but you can try to apply this to other subjects but i've only um attempted this with math all right um sometimes this study technique might not work for you that's all right okay because everyone has a different style of technique but for me it has seemed to work um and i provide these tips to all of my students so i hope you guys enjoy this stay tuned and let's get some tips ready now when you're studying for a math exam, the first thing you should be doing is to do your chapter revision. When you do your chapter revision, it allows you to go through every concept that is learnt throughout the whole topic. Okay, you need to make notes as you go when you're doing your chapter revision. Write down the key concepts, whatever concept that you forgot or whatever concept that you were struggling on jot that down because guaranteed later on 10 months or eight months or two months later on you will forget that okay so jot those not notes down draw diagrams and pictures to jog your memory for later on now when you're doing these notes make sure you do them on a loose piece of paper could be lined could be not lined it's completely up to you and um, put it in all in a display folder so by the time you hit your half yearlies or your yearly exam all your notes are accumulated into a folder and that means it saves you so much time rather than going back through your books and flipping through everything that is not going to be worthwhile now basically the next tip that i would give you guys is once you've done your chapter revision you should be getting on to doing your past papers okay now many people try to attempt to do every single question in a past paper that is not recommended you only need to target the questions that are going to be assessed in your exam so for example if you're going to be assessed trigonometry and algebra only do questions that are related to trigonometry and algebra there's no point doing questions on geometry okay so make sure you only target those concepts um the next part that you should be doing is you should be taking your time to complete the past paper questions. Don't rush through it because it will just make you more stressed. It will cause you to make silly mistakes and it's not worthwhile for yourself and you're going to end up demotivating yourself with the love for studying for math. Okay? Um, don't worry about the time condition. Ensure that you understand the full concept first before you move on to the next part. That this leads on to marking, okay? So marking your chapter revision and your past papers is crucial just to so you have a clarification that you have done the work correctly, okay? Um, there's no point doing a work and then not marking it and then leaving it for later on to mark because um, what happens if you get it wrong? At the end of the day, you have all the hard questions that you got wrong. You're not going to sit there and go through every single one of those questions. So it's really good to do one question, mark it. One question, mark it. Okay? If you get it right, that's self-satisfaction. And that gives you intrinsic motivation. If you guys get it wrong, then attempt it again. Don't look at your answers. Flip to a brand new page. And attempt the question again until you have received full understanding sometimes the question might be a little bit tricky so study the solutions see if you can gain um, a clear understanding of that put the solutions away and re-attempt the question yourself all right the next one that i would recommend is not many people do this but you should ask your teacher for extra work now some people might be thinking, why on earth would you want to do that? If you want to make sure you understand a concept clearer, your teacher will always be happy to help you, okay? So chapter review, past paper questions, extra revision from your teacher. So your teacher should be able to give that to you. Um, 
when you're studying all these questions, dedicate a book that is for your study. So for example, if you're studying for your half yearlies, have a book that's labeled year nine half yearly study book. Or if you have um, a yearly book, label it as year 10 yearly book. It's good to coordinate your studies um, into one book because when you're looking back, it does help quite a bit, okay? Um, while you're doing these stuff in your books, make sure you have colorful headings. When you're having colorful headings, for example, you can label it as chapter review um, number seven. Or you can say 2019 past paper, 2017 past paper. If you have these headings very largely, you can flip back and you can see that you have done these um, questions related to those papers. Now, the next tip that I would give you guys is to have a study schedule, okay? Formal notifications for juniors and seniors usually come out two weeks prior to the actual assessment task. That means it's really good if you guys are able to study a little bit each day. Now, some people are sitting back in their chairs just saying, oh, you know, why would I want to do a little bit of math every single day? That sounds silly. You can just cram it all into one day before the exam. Now, my advice is if you guys do a little bit each day, even if it's half an hour each day, the concepts gets continually revised in your mind. That means you're using these concepts every day. You're practicing them in your mind. And that means you have a clearer hold of understanding when it hits your assessment tasks, okay? There's no point cramming it into the night before because you're going to end up stressing yourself out and then you're going to end up blank, having a blank thought in the middle of the actual exam. All right. Now, for juniors, you can study for about 30 minutes a day. Um, prior to your assessment. For seniors, I wouldn't target that time frame. For seniors, I would target one goal per second day. So for example, achieve a 2019 past paper. For the first day, have a break. The next day, you can do a, for example, chapter revision of um, functions. And then skip that, and then skip the next day and do another goal. So set yourself goals instead of time limits for seniors, juniors, Set yourself time limits instead, okay? Now, um, many people have asked me, should they study um, a harder subject first and then, or should they study the harder subjects towards the end closer to the exam to refresh their memory? Um, I recommend studying the harder exams first, okay? So it does require a lot more concentration. Once you have the harder exams, um, done or the harder topics done, you're left with the easier stuff so you're less stressed prior to your assessment task or your exam which is more beneficial for you. If you leave the harder topics towards the end just right before your exam, you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to end up crying or you're going to end up giving up on math which no one should be able to give up on math. Okay, so that is my tips on how to study for a math exam. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you like this. Click the like button and subscribe below.